Hi, I'm Chris Freeman, I'm Closer Clients One. And in this video, I'm just gonna discuss three main points that I want to cover in this video about how to get your prospects who have gotten on the call with you to care about what you're selling them. And the first point I wanna make is ABC. You might have come across this term before, where it's always be closing, or another way they put it is always be selling. That's not the way you want to do it. And especially true of anything high ticket. High ticket meaning expensive, and that varies from person to person industry. But on a whole, some industries, it can be as low as 2,000, some is 10,000 or 50,000 before it's determined as high ticket. And what you need to do, instead of always be closing, you need to be always be connecting because you can't care about something unless you've made a connection with it, okay? They can't care or the prospects can't care about what you have to sell until you've made a connection with them. And you can't do it when you're constantly talking, constantly selling whatever it is that you're selling. And the way you connect with them is brings me on to point number two is that you need to ask them questions. You need to be genuinely curious about where they are, what they want to achieve and what's holding them back. What's holding them getting from here to here. Okay. And that's something you have to develop by really wanting to know about that person and just picking on certain points that interest you or having a set list of questions uh, that you can use for almost anyone. So for example, a question you could ask is, so what is it that got you onto this call today? Um, or why did you decide to reach out to us if you're selling for someone or yourself? So what made you want to reach out on a call to me today? And then they'll tell you the reason why they got onto the call. So for example, let's say you're selling a uh, a life coaching package that helps them to deal with uh, a relationship problem, okay? They might go and say, oh, I got on a call with you today because I'm having a bit of trouble with my relationship and this thing happened and it's making me feel like this and I want to be able to achieve this. So, and I saw you guys on YouTube or whatever. So, and then I enrolled and I'd like to know what, what guy, what are you guys offering more that could help me with this problem? And sometimes they're not going to give you that much information. Sometimes you need to ask questions like, where did you see us? Okay. And how do you think it can, what we're offering can help you? Okay. You're showing that you care. You're being genuinely curious about their life. What's their troubles? What are they doing? And if they don't have to seem any uh, urgency or any huge issue, okay? Because some people don't have that. Their needs aren't as high, okay? Um, you're gonna ask them, um, so what is it you want to achieve, okay? Because maybe, or sometimes, their pain's not so obvious. Sometimes it takes a little bit more con connecting, a little more digging deeper into their, their pains and their, their current situation before they'll really open up to you. Some people just take longer. And the third point I want to bring across is you need to listen. Not too many people listen. I've had people on calls who have tried to call me to sell where they will say, um, not when I've pointed out to them, you're not listening to me, okay? I've said all of these different things, but you're still continuously pitching to me and I don't feel that you're listening. And yes, they will say they're listening, but then they continue just pitching and it's really frustrating. And how do you show the other person or make them believe that you're listening to them? Well, it's the same as when you're talking to a friend uh, who means a lot to you, or you're talking with a partner, is you need to ask questions so they reveal something important to them and you ask them questions, not one, not two, not surface things, okay? You need to go deeper into it, okay? You need to show uh, that you aren't just going to ask a question and just move on. It's not about that. It's about learning more about them, which ties in with the second point. Okay. To show that you're listening, to show that you care, you need to be asking questions. That's what you need to always be doing. And don't always just ask questions so that it feels like an interrogation because no one likes it when it feels like an interrogation. Don't be afraid to reveal a little bit about yourself and talk 
uh, a little bit out, but try not to project too much of your own values onto it because at the end of the day, it's all about them. And if you can help them, if you can, you can help them overcome whatever objections they have and to move them from being curious to identifying that, yes, they do have a problem that you can help them with to them investing and helping them with that. So if we're to quickly recap those three points, it's always be connecting, not always be closing. The second point is to be genuinely curious about their life, their current struggles, their targets. And sometimes it takes a little bit longer to connect with them because, or to get to certain points that you need to identify before moving forward. And the third one is always be listening by asking questions that go beyond the surface of whatever they're talking about. Try to dig a little deeper into their situation. And once you've accomplished all of those three things, then that person gets a sense of feeling that this person really listens to me. They really care about me. Okay, and then they're gonna be more open to whatever it is that you have to be saying because you've built that connection, that bridge, and that's really strong thing to do. And it makes it so much easier and less stressful for, for you because when you're pitching all the time, you're speaking most of the time, and you're not gonna come across as a person to help them when you're just talking too much. So that's all for this video, and thank you for listening. If you liked what you saw, then just like or subscribe and comment down below to let me know what you think. If you've got any questions about this video or any future videos, then just comment down below and let me know. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.